This video is all about finding the value of x when we are given 2 to the power x minus 1 plus 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to 1280. Let's begin. You have you have 2 to the power x minus 1 plus 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to 1280. Now According to the law of indices, you have a raised to power m minus n. This is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power minus n. So, and it's also the same as saying a raised to power m divided by a raised to power m. It's the same thing. So, we're going to use that same expression, so we'll say 2 to the power x divided by 2 to the power 1. So it's just the same thing. So now plus, we have 2 to the power m plus m is the same thing as 2 to the power m times 2 to the power m. So we're going to use this, also this expression here, you say 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 1. It's equal to 1, 2, 80. So Anything raised to power 1 is that same thing. So you have now, it now implies that 2 to the power x divided by 2 plus 2 to the power x times 2, which is equal to 1,000. So 2 to the power x is common to both, to both terms on the left hand side. So we now factor it as 2 to the power x. So if you if you now use two to, uh, x to divide this, you have half plus you use two to the power x to divide two to the x times two, you have two equal to one two eighty. So two to the power x. Now this you have half plus this two is the same thing as two times two divided by two. So two. It's just the same thing as saying 2 times 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1 equal to 1 all over 2 80. 2 and 2 80. So we now have 2 to the power x into 1 all over 2 plus 4 all over 2 equal to 1280. So now if you see 4, 4 over 2 is the same thing as 2. Which is this? So now, since the, the the denominators are the same, the reason why I did this is to make the denominators the same. So if the denominators are the same, since it, so to make the denominators the same, so that I can add the numerators. So now, adding these numerators, I will have two to the power x into this is one plus four divided by two which is equal to 128. So you have 2 to the power x times 5 all over 2 equal to 1, 2, 18. Now divide all 2 by 5 all over 2. This will cancel out this. You have 2 to the power x equal to 128 divided by 5 all over 2. So this is the same thing I'm saying. 128 times, if you want to, to change this to times, you reverse this. So, it now means 2 to the power x is equal to 128 all over 1 times 2 all over 5. So, 5 divided itself, 1, 5 divided this is 2, 5, 6. So, 2 times 2, 5, 6, you have 2 to the power x equal to 5, 1, 512, sorry. Now, and this 512 is the same thing as 2 to the power 9. So we have 2 to the power x equal to 2 to the power 9. Since the bases are the same, you equate the power. So we have x is equal to 9. So that is the final answer. Now let's verify. To verify, you have. 2 to the power x minus 1 plus 2 to the power x plus 1 equal to what? 1, 2, 80. So now, let's look at the left hand side of the equation. We have 2 to the power x minus 1 plus 2 to the power x plus 1. So 
if since x is equal to 9 if you put 9 here we have 9 minus 1 2 to the power 9 minus 1 plus 2 to the power 9 plus 1 so we have 2 to the power 8 plus 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 8 will give you 2 5 6 plus 2 to the power 2 to the power 10 will give you 10 24 so when you add them together this plus 6 you have 0 7 this is 8 8 8 is 2 1 so it's correct so that is it so now thank you for watching till the end have a nice day i'm using this medium to appreciate my subscribers both old and new and also using this medium to also ask people to subscribe like comment and share the video thank you